Hi, my name is Lauren McGarry. I am an engineer with Go Engineer, and today we're going to be walking through an installation of SolidWorks. For this process, you'll need a connection to the internet and your 24 digit serial numbers provided by your account rep. The first step is downloading your installation media. To do that, we're going to go to goengineer.com slash SOLIDWORKS dash downloads. Here, Go Engineer hosts links to download installation media for the most recent versions of all SOLIDWORKS major releases back to SOLIDWORKS 2012. Once you've downloaded all your files, extract them using a program called 7-Zip, which you can download from this site. We recommend 7-Zip because it reliably downloads all the files from the SOLIDWORKS installation media without blocking any of them. Once 7-Zip is installed, all you have to do to extract your files is right-click. In that drop-down menu, select uh, 7-Zip, and in that 7-Zip sub-menu, pick Extract Files. To start your installation manager, find the setup application in your extracted files, right-click it, and select Run as Administrator. Before you start your installation, you may need to disable your firewall and antivirus software. On the first page of your installation manager, we'll see a series of radio buttons. We want to select the first one for individual. The next page is the serial number page. Here you'll enter any 24 digit serial numbers that you received from your account rep. After selecting next on the serial numbers page, SOLIDWORKS will run a quick system check just to make sure that there aren't any newer versions of SOLIDWORKS to run, that you're connected to the internet, and that you're entitled to the software you're trying to install. If the system check brings up any dialog boxes, as it did in my case, you'll need to resolve those before continuing. The next page is for product selection. You can check boxes next to any SOLIDWORKS products that you want to install at this time. These will be auto-populated based on the serial numbers that you entered on the serial number page. The next page is the summary page. Here you can see a list of all the products you're set to install, uh, what sort of download options you've selected. Because we downloaded all of the files from Go Engineer's website, we shouldn't need to download anything extra. For that reason, we can select install only, and that should be the default setting here. Before we move on, we're going to make a few quick changes to our installation locations. We're going to select the change link next to installation location and change the installation location from SOLIDWORKS Corp to SOLIDWORKS 2018. We're then going to return to the summary page and change the toolbox slash whole wizard location from SOLIDWORKS data to SOLIDWORKS data 2018. Before selecting install now, read the license agreement and accept it. With everything completed and the license agreement accepted, all we have to do is select install now. If your installation fails, take a screenshot of the error and save out your installation logs, then send that information to Go Engineers technical support. We can review that data and determine the problem. When the installation is complete, all you need to do is click the finish button. And that's how you install SOLIDWORKS. This has been Lauren McGarry with Go Engineer. Thanks for joining us.